Fishing News is brought to you by Navionics, Okuma, Yozori, Evinrood, and the Star Island Yacht Club Shark Tournament. You know, Discovery Channel's Shark Week doesn't start till sometime in uh, late July, but here at the Jersey Shore, middle of June, it is definitely Shark Week. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine. Big game tournament sharking is underway. We've got a couple of biggies this week. It all kicks off with Mako Fever, the captain's meeting here at the Manasquan River Club, right on the Manasquan in Brick, this Thursday, June 13th. And uh, don't forget, that's a nine-day format now. That Mako Fever tournament is a nine-day format, June 15th to the 23rd. You can fish one or as many as nine days. It's great when you have weather considerations to have so many options. Jersey Coast Shark Anglers have also partnered with the folks from the Staten Island Tuna Club. You could fish both tournaments and participate in that $25,000 bonus thresher prize. Now the Staten Island Captain's Meeting is Friday 6 to 8 p.m. at Captain's Marina and they're going to have Staten Island guys here registering you here as well in Manasquan on Thursday night. You can get all the details at jcsa.org or by visiting situnaclub.com. Now of course you also have Mako Mania going on at this same time. In fact, it's up to a four-day tournament, four days to fish, Saturday and Sunday, June 15th and 16th, and or Saturday and Sunday, June 22nd to 23rd. Now that captain's meeting for Mako Mania is Friday night at Whirlin Brothers Marina on Princeton Avenue. You can find out details about that at MakoManiaNJ.com. Of course, pick up the June edition. The New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine has all those tournaments, all the details, and what you need to know. Now, the offshore conditions have not been stellar in the last several days. Um, looking midweek, Hudson to Baltimore, the midweek forecast from NOAA, it looks like three to fives, three to fours, three to fives on Saturday, winds 15 to, uh, five to 15 west, southwest, maybe going south 10 to 20 on Saturday. Certainly not an unfishable day, but it could be growing by Sunday night. So you wanna keep an eye out on that NOAA offshore forecast. And again, these tournaments now multi-days. So if you're heading offshore, you have that opportunity to be able to pick and choose your days in the next week. That wasn't, of course, the case this past weekend in uh, out of Cape May for the South Jersey Shark Tournament. Uh, weather was not great. Not many sharks entered in the tournament, but I'll tell you what, that didn't matter to the crew of the Relentless who took it all with a 435 pound thresher uh, in that South Jersey tournament. Now don't forget, whether you're tournament shark fishing or just out for fun, check for those claspers. NOAA Fisheries has those new regulations. Uh, male, female fish, male makos with the claspers, 71 inch minimum. No claspers, it's a female or gender neutral, I guess but that has to be 83 inches. Now these shark tournaments here have already accommodated for that. They've got special measuring tools, so they're going by the new NOAA regulations, but keep that in mind. Another note on rules and regulations, any protected species you might encounter wherever you're fishing, uh, be careful with those fish photos. All right, I know uh, bluefin, if you, you plan on releasing some bluefin, you've got one or two in the box, and you're gonna be playing catch and release with those bluefin, don't take them up out of the water for a photo. NOAA restrictions are pretty uh, precise on that, and NOAA apparently is spending more time on Facebook looking for infractions than they are actually doing any work. The same can be said about those sand tigers and those sandbars, those brown sharks in the surf. The rules have been spelled out for a long time, but our friends in the government I gotta believe are gonna be looking at that. White marlin also in that classification. Don't be bringing out those white marlin out of the water and taking a picture across your lap that you plan on releasing that white marlin. Is it too early to talk about white marlin? No, it's not. We spoke with Adam on the Canyon Runner this week doing our fishing reports. Check it out. Best trip in 37 years. That's exactly what Adam said. 100 plus tuna, 12 big eye, 400 pound bluefin, lots of yellowfin, 96 inch, 400 pound mako, a bunch of mahi, 
and four white marlin in the mix. As a matter of fact, later on in the week, Captain Dean followed that with even five more big eye for the Cameron Brown charter. So yes, offshore season is definitely underway. Of course, a lot of folks have been heading out of here in Shark River and Barnegat in the last several weeks, taking advantage of that bluefin action in places like the Resurrect. It seems like based on doing our latest reports, those bluefin have scattered a little bit. Most people are going 40, 50 miles out looking for those bluefin. But I'm hoping that after a couple of days here, maybe less pressure, you'll find a mid-range again when you head back out again looking for those bluefin. Now on the inshore grounds, we have our first New Jersey doormat. On the Fisherman Magazine's Dreamboat Leaderboard, June 9th, Michael Ferrigno got himself on the Dreamboat Leaderboard with an 11.2 pound fluke caught in New York Harbor, weighed that in at True World in Bayonne. We also, of course, uh, I was, I'm surprised to see some of those big fish in the deep water, but it's possible. Of course, we're getting more gooder, gooder more better reports from our inlet rivers and our back bays. Uh, in fact, some of the traditional Barnegat Bay hotspots and down the ICW behind Beach Haven, that's where Art Hand of Little Egg Harbor found this 22 in, or 21 incher on a killie fishing with subscriber Al Roth. Now, David Absekin Bay reported that Zach Tomlinson found both fluke and sheep said down his way last week get more sheep's head reports uh, definitely if that's something you haven't targeted you might have to look for those again pick up that june edition great article from bob misak about catching sheep's head we're getting more and more of them every year and they are already in our back bays farther south laura ain of haddon heights had her first ever flounder over the weekend on a mackerel strip. Check that one in to uh, Sterling Harbor, 3.3 pounds. Kathy at Sterling Harbor in Wildwood also said the jetties and sedges of Cape May County are still holding a few good weak fish as well. Shedder crab, bucktail dipped in shedder oil. Of course, those plastics, the, uh, the Kettle Creek swing shads, uh, the pink zooms, can't go wrong with those. And again, finesse and shedder oil, dosed all over those plastics and jig heads work pretty well. If you're down in Cape May County fishing for fluke sea bass and maybe some unusual specimens, uh, that's on the menu this Friday. Cape May, the Snyder Inshore Challenge. That's hosted by Flyers great Bernie Perrant. If you'd like to fish with a Flyer and two-time Vesna Trophy winner, call 215-952-4157. Ask to speak to Katie. Get in on that Bernie Perrant tournament. Now, we've got a quick surf and striped bass update as well. But first, let's go out west. I'm going to check in with George, our Pocono Outdoors guy. Hey, thanks, Jim. You know, the warming temperatures are setting up that classic summertime pattern for those large and smallmouth bass. Hit them hard with top waters in the morning and slow it down with Texas rig worms and even Ned rigs during the day. Here's Steve Miser scoring big with a Ned rig on some largemouth bass. Now, even the crappie bite is doing really well. Brian Knowles sent us this pick of a bunch of crappie he got at some local lakes up in Bradford County. County, Pennsylvania. Looks like there's fish tacos on the menu for tonight. So guys, you got to get out. All you dads go enjoy Father's Day. It's another excuse to get out and get those lines wet. From Pennsylvania, I'm George, your Pocono Outdoors guy. Some more stripers in the Ocean County surf this week. Good sign. Moving up a little north of Barnegat Inlet, John Mayfield had a 13 pound, six ounce bass this week on clam. Check that in with Frank over at Gabriel Tackle in Brick. We also heard from Grumpy, who said Jeff Monahan had a nice one, a 40-incher in shorts. Isn't that great? Great time of year. A 40-incher in the surf, also had a good black drum as well. A nice tag team fish on that, according to the folks at Grumpy. Now, I did speak to Grumpy earlier this week for, their, for doing our weekly reports. He said, in addition to bunker and clam, the scabelly glider is getting it done with both, both bass and bluefish. In fact, those things are hard to keep on the racks right now. Of course, it was clam for Manny Butera, who came up from Cape May County this week. Got in over at Island Beach State Park, registered this nice 30-inch drum with the folks at Betty and Nick's in Seaside. Now, we do have an update. Our leaderboard in the black drum battle at the Fisherman Magazine has changed. Congratulations to Luke Dombrowski, who moved into the second slot with a 61 and a half pounder. He's just behind Bob Hoff's 69.4. Now, I would urge you, wherever you're fishing, to register with the Black Drum Battle, blackdrumbattle.com, before you go out fishing. If you're a subscriber, you're always already good. 
But keep that in mind because if you're on the rare and you want to keep an eye out for those big black drum, Frank Crescitelli's crew in that Manhattan Cup on Friday, they released a 55 pounder on the rare. And what Frank told me is he saw a lot of these fish schooling up on the surface. In fact, caught that black drum on an artificial. Make sure you sign up for blackdrumbattle.com. You never know where you're gonna catch that big boomer. We got some great prizes from the folks at Penn, unsinkable polarized, and a charter aboard full ahead sport fishing uh, in store for you if you can win that contest. Now there are a, still a few big stripers on the prow. They're few and far between, but they're out there. Uh, in fact, my brother Clark Harris here had a 48 incher on Friday aboard Jersey Devil Sport Fishing with Captain Brian Rice. And lo and behold, he won that Manhattan Cup on Friday. Uh, keep in mind that Clark here is six foot six, weighs 260 pounds. So that's, that's a pretty big fish. Yes, he beat me in the cup, and I have to say he can beat me at about anything at any time he wants. That said, I wish our father, my best friend and favorite fishing buddy for the past 51 years, a very happy Father's Day. It's nice that we can continue creating great memories out there uh, with the kids, the grandkids, uh, our siblings, our spouses, cousins, and all. Happy Father's Day to all of you. Now, Noel at One Stop in Atlantic City, he's also celebrating Father's Day this weekend, June 15th and 16th, his two-day Father's Day flounder fight. So grab your favorite fishing father for a chance at $75, $50, or $30 paying out first, second, and third. You can get details from Noel there at One Stop Bait and Tackle. Now, earlier this week, I stopped by to say hello to Noel and picked up a few important tips on fishing the Atlantic City area, including this one from my main man, Art, who is down from Philadelphia this week. It's always worth remembering. As Art says, it's all about patience. We'll see you next week right here at thefisherman.com. Yeah, it ain't about the, it's not all about the equipment, it's about the skill. I gotta say right now. I, I just I, same thing when I drive on the highway. I say, it ain't your car, it's your driver. Don't get it twisted. So, six huh. pound test and you caught a 30 pound. I caught a 30 pound striper. And it's all skill. Well women, what, what come on man? And it, it, women, and, but you, like I said, everybody, what's the first what's the first virtue of a fisherman? Patience! You better wait. If you don't wow. wait on him, you'll fail you. See, Patience. Right. What you think about that? Right. That's absolutely right. <laughs> right. That's right. Number one. What's the his number one virtue? Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrude Lawrence Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2019 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details now at thefisherman.com.